Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. I'm going to be doing a fun one. I'm going to be sharing all my purchases from 2022 from Zephora. I know, I'm so scared of myself to do this video, but you know, let's just do it for fun. If this is your first time passing by, I'm Gigi. I love to review luxury makeup. If you love that kind of content, do make sure to click on the red button down there that says subscribe and I'll talk onto my Instagram because over there, we share a little bit more love and we chit chat back and forth. So without further ado, let's start. All right, friends, so let's go to, to my right because I am going to go, you know, purchase by purchase and I'm gonna be showing you here. Um, very, very transparent, everything that I purchased from last year and my first purchase at the beginning of the year mind you I had my baby on December 21st of last year so I didn't purchase a ton of things the few first months of um, 2022 and that's what you're gonna see so my first purchase was in January 6th and I got the Kosas Chemistry AHA Serum Deodorant and I got the Charlotte Beautiful Skin Medium Coverage Foundation. As for the Kosas, I have to say that I no longer like it. I no longer use it. I liked it for a little bit, but I felt like as I used it, my own odor transferred to the tube for some reason, I think. And then it just like changed the chemistry of the deodorant. Like at the beginning, it didn't smell like citrusy. And then towards the middle, you know, like a month or two of using it, it just didn't smell right for me. So this deodorant, I don't like it anymore. I don't purchase it anymore. And as for Charlotte's beautiful skin foundation this one of this was one of my fills of 2022 and you're gonna see that in a video coming this foundation and my skin type it just didn't agree it just looked patchy and cakey and weird uh you know it was just some parts of my face sometimes it will look heavy sometimes it will look fine it's just like very bipolar kind of foundation and i don't like those kind of products i want something reliable that is just gonna work so that foundation went back is no longer in my collection Collection. Next purchase, January 23rd, I went ahead and got the Skyali set with a mini uh, perfume and that red lippy. Oh, and I forgot about that. I really like that perfume. It's really nice, very springy. Um, it's like the red apple perfume. I liked it. Um, that was a good purchase. February 1st, my next purchase, I was in a hunt for a really nice eye black liner. So I got that Urban Decay one in black for version one. And then I now realize I don't like black anymore. I like brown. So yeah, wasted my money on that. That eyeliner is just somewhere there that I don't longer use. And then I went ahead and got that KVD foundation, not the foundation, sorry, the concealer. Um, I really liked it at that time. I got medium one for one and I actually went back and exchanged it to a darker shade and then I liked it a little bit more. I don't, I don't love it. It's not in my top five to be honest, but it's an okay concealer. It's still in my collection. February 11th, so the second purchase of February, I got the Patrick Ta She's Blushing Blush, and that was one of my favorite releases of this year. I love, I adore that compact. So, love it. My Sol de Janeiro Refreshing Dry Shampoo. Recently recommended it to all of you because it's amazing, I love it. And that Volume Plumping Lip Gloss by Patrick Ta. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I remember using it maybe once or twice. Don't know much about that. Five days later, went back for more. Got the one size, turn up the base, blurring foundation, which I really like. I really, really like this product by one size when it's uh, hot. I don't like it in the winter because it tends to look just a little bit drier than I would love, but um, it was really good in humid places. So I took it to Florida when I went. Beautiful, loved it. Uh, this Makeup by Mario Pinky Brown Lippy is really nice. I have it, I love it. The LYS Concealer is okay. I still have it in my collection for a very, very, very lightweight concealer. I have to color correct if I wanna use it because it's just not enough coverage for me, but it's a good concealer nonetheless. If you have dry under eyes, it's gonna be good for you. And then this purchase of The Ordinary, this is actually my mother-in-law, she loves this cleanser. I bought four for her, so that's why it's there. Two days later, went back for more. Why not, right? Makeup Forever, 
foundation um, I actually do not have that foundation anymore this was also something that did not work for me it was just not a good look it really just went patchy at some places of my face this is a really loved foundation but it was not good to me next up February 28th I went for married signature lipsticks uh, they release many shades I actually had a video on them they're very very nice I got baby and slip favorite products from a very sort of like um, moisturizing a kind of lip I go for those I usually I just love my matte lipsticks but when I want something hydrating like this time of year those ones are quite nice March 4th I went for uh, what did I buy oh I bought this foundation hmm the Prisma Libre by Givenchy love this is a love of mine such a great foundation I have the shade 307 I actually went back and exchanged it for two is it 250 oh lord I had it here um I'll leave I, I'll list my current shade below but such a beautiful foundation natural it last it's just amazing one of my faves March 10th because I can't get enough I do remember I review makeup that's what I do you already know that right so I purchased a ton so yeah went for the yummy skin products by Danessa Myrix so she's released the yummy skin serum foundation and then the yummy skin glow serum primer and I love the primer I have main squeeze love 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 the foundation on the other hand did not work for me when back to Sephora oh my god already three foundations that didn't work for me out of four yeah this one did not work for me it was just too much coverage it was just too too much it was just not good and then the Kayali travel spray beautiful vanilla 20 also in march went ahead and purchased this natasha denona pastel eyeshadow palette it is good it's not you know something that i reach for every single day because it is like quite bright uh but it's nonetheless a very nice high quality pastel eyeshadow palette so I like it. So April 1st, I went ahead and purchased the Lawless Conceal the Deal Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. Um, this concealer did not work for me. I sent it back to Sephora. It was just too drying underneath my eyes and I just like... It was just not enough coverage and too drying at the same time. I love Lawless uh, Conceal, not conceal the the foundation that is similar to this love, but these these um um I concealer did not work for me. The Sol de Janeiro product, this collagen and escalene cream, love it. Use it almost every single day. Nars Live Reflecting Foundation beautiful one of my favorites of all time i have the shade stromboli charlotte um the refillable things for my brows that's what i'm wearing right now it's like a holy girl of mine love and then patrick tom eyeshadow palette the rose one i think this was around the sale yes. time but i got this super matte moisturizer by sephora collection this was okay actually it peels a little whenever i apply makeup so i apply it when i don't have makeup and I want to be modified. I don't know. I think it doesn't sit well with like serums and things. You have to go straight with that without anything else underneath so it doesn't peel. Uh, and then LYS blushes. Humble, beautiful, classy, beautiful. I love these blushes by LYS. April 2nd, Gucci Beauty. The Transfer Proof Matte Liquid Lipsticks, beautiful. I have Cornelia Pink and Mildred Rosewood. I really like them. They're very transfer proof, long wearing without being too drying on my skin. And then the Cheeky Tint by Huda. I love. I love that product. It's beautiful. I love me a good pink blush. It's like my thing. April 7th, I think. Oh, this was a purchase for my brother. He wanted a perfume. Again, Sephora. 20% off so you're gonna see my purchases here I went for the Bobbi Brown skin corrector stick I got the K18 the Bobbi Brown Holy Grail K18 love the powder beauty thin 
beautiful love and then the one size trio i really like that one as well in the shade of really dark. april 11th went for more super good uh lotion i got the big size i actually don't love this spf it's just too greasy i think i'm gonna give that to my mom she has really dry skin this is nice for my complexion in like deeper complexions because it's not really it doesn't give you a white cast so it's very nice and that's the reason why i got it but i just can't stand the feel of like sunscreen it's just slipping sliding everywhere and i don't like that then the glow recipe is for my husband that's the only moisturizer he uses um i don't know why patrick Tatin is still there again next purchase in april the necessary deodorant these the eucalyptus one is very very nice i like these and i went back for the mist in this in the veja floor whatever i really like this sol de janeiro spray i have it i use it mostly at, at night it is one of those cozy scents yummy skin by denisa myricks love love her blurring uh, bone powder i really really like that product i have to shake four and then the dior addict natural peach is a um, tint like a lip stain i really like it as well in may i didn't buy nothing wow i'm proud uh june <laughs> her beauty's concealer i like i had the shade golden but i actually returned it and i got the shade granola granola i like a little bit better because it's a little bit more deep and i want something like that for my dark Tatcha, the rice wash is like a holy grail product every time it finishes i have to buy one this this and the glow recipe is the only thing that my husband uses oh and the fat water by fendi three things he uses so that one was for him uh, in the shower and then the one size fancy size mascara is holy grail love it oh i have so much more i thought it was done uh apparently not this was actually in august if i didn't mention um i didn't do a lot of makeup in june july august I was in a little bit of a funk uh but anyhow a uh, moving on the ordinary multi-peptide lash and browser room really like it use it love it i feel like it has lengthened my you know my lashes a little bit like a lot more i like it i haven't used it on my brows i think i should dior transfer proof lipsticks really like these products i have two shades 340 i talked about these on my faves this is kicked me out three times from these and I'm scared to like go down and see, but I think it's Mary Beauty, the stick. I like it, very, very natural kind of bronzer. Uh, and that was it for these. Let's exit, cause it's gonna kick me out. Going back, August 19th, I went for the Fenty Beauty East Drop Glow Enhancer in the shade Taffy Topaz. I have a review on it. It is very, very nice. It is very natural. So like a natural priming product. I like it. It's not a must have, but it's nice. August 29th, Patrick Ta Foundation. This is okay. I really liked it when I tried it. I really used it for like a month or so. I really enjoyed it. But I don't know, after that, like I fell out of love. I think I have to use it again to see what's the deal because I haven't used it in a minute. And yeah, September 6th, we have Natasha Denona My Dream collection. I got the eyeshadow palette and I got the trio. The eyeshadow palette is a beautiful, one of the best releases of this year, if you ask me. And then the trio, I really Returned. it was just too light for my complexion it didn't do me any good <laughs> september 26 this is so painful patrick ta he has my heart but this volume 2 palette was no bueno no good at all is returned far away from me don't want to see it october 9th i think that this yeah this was around the cell again i got celestial nirvana but uh, but pat mcgrath it's a good palette a very bright though don't use it too much who doesn't empowered i really like dior minty rose beautiful the lys trio beautiful such a good buy jo malone my holy Grail perfume i love it and then the gucci blush in warm berry love love those gucci beauties such a nice product october 14th another one of the glow recipe for my hubby 18th we have 
um, somebody would a perfume I love Westman Atelier face trace I really really liked it from my Sephora friends and family I think I got friends and family or like I don't know Charlotte Mini said I love it K18 set was really really nice I use it I love it necessary deodorant no do not recommend it I like the eucalyptus one that I mentioned at the beginning not this one makeup forever anywhere caffeine is such a nice lip liner wearing it today I love it GNV undamaged strengthening shampoo is okay Mira clarifying cleanser is good house labs I actually got my right shade uh, recently it's with the 20% off these I sent back but they didn't have the shade so I just had to get the money back um, I'm actually 270 and I got it last week very excited to have it in my collection because I really like that foundation. November 2nd, Juliet has to gun not a perfume super dose. You saw this in a whole Kerastas, the Sephora silicone thingy, GNV styling milk blowout product. I love all these products. I love them all. Uh, I use them and love them. On November 7th, I got the Natasha Denona Retro Glam. This is a palette that is very nice, a very cool tone. So not really my cup of tea, if you ask me, but I have it. It's really good quality. I went back for the big bottle because I needed that perfume in a big. I, I couldn't do the travel spray. It was just not enough for me. I love it that much. Somebody would. It's just such a sexy and beautiful perfume. I adore. November 17th, I got all the Kayali patchouli, like the newer vanilla perfume. I really like it. I actually bought the full size, not at Sephora, from her. And that's going to be coming in... Um, in um, Black Friday's haul. <laughs> It's so late already, but I haven't had time to film it. Went and for the Tula skincare, a brightening treatment drops, and the first first aid beauty ultra repair cream. That's like my holy grail cream. I really like both of the products. Moving on to December fifth. Oh, this was just last week. So these I got with the recent twenty percent off that ended on Sunday. Rare Beauty two. I got the two highlighters, flaunt and mesmerize. I'm actually wearing flaunt. If you are wondering all throughout the video, and I'm like blinding you. Yeah. That's fun. And then I got Limus Let's Brown. I haven't tried. And here is the House of Love in the 270 shade. And I think that's yeah. <laughs> that's it. Those were my purchases. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I do buy a lot of makeup because I review a lot of makeup. So I hope you understand. And you know, the channel the it just gives me a little bit back and with your support buying from my links it really does help me as well so that's how I'm able to purchase all these things to review uh, but yeah friends those in a nutshell where all my purchases from Sephora are you amazed I know I'm so embarrassed but again what can I say this is what we do here. We do luxury beauty. We do luxury makeup. And uh, yeah, Sephora is my go-to place. I pretty much buy everything from Sephora unless it's from Charlotte that I buy from her site. And if I want to buy something from Pat, I also buy it from her site. You know, like something random like that. But most of my purchases, they're from Sephora. So this is all that I got this year. Now, let me know. Would love to hear your thoughts. Did you buy a ton of things this year or were you good? Did you only buy things during the sale time? Anything that you want to drop below, an emoji, a heart, everything works, everything supports the channel and I thank you in advance. Thank you friends for loving, sharing, liking, commenting and supporting. I love you all so, so much and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.